in Office 365, you can create surveys that other people, even without Office 365 accounts, can take and all of your results from the survey go into an Office 365 spreadsheet. So to create a survey, we'll click on New Document. And you can create an Excel spreadsheet and then create the survey out of it. But if you know you're going to create a survey from the beginning, the easiest thing to do is go ahead and select Excel survey. So we'll choose that and it'll ask us for a name. And we'll click OK. And at first it'll look like a spreadsheet is opening and then all of a sudden your edit survey tool will pop up here. So this is the survey that you're going to create. So you've got a title, you've got additional information that you can put here, and then you have questions below it. For our survey title, we can add whatever we want. In this case, it might be class feedback. For the description, you can type paragraphs worth of information in here if you like. You're going to want to put anything that the person taking the survey needs to know or understand or just might want to know about taking the survey. And if you don't want anything in there, you can just hit the delete key and delete all the text in there. Then you've got your survey qu questions. So this is your first one. And if you click on it, your tool pops up to edit the question. So we can type a question in here. And in this case, Let's just say that we're collecting t-shirt sizes for a club. We'll say, what is your t-shirt size? And we can add in any other information in the question subtitle here to help them make their decision. Down here, we have a response type. And we can have text, so they can just type in whatever an answer is. They can have a paragraph text. And notice now it creates a big space over here. They could write a paragraph or more if they needed to. You can have just a number response, a date response, a time response, a yes, no response, or a multiple choice response. So we'll take a look at that one. It'll automatically create choice A, B, and C as answers for the survey. You can highlight those and delete. And we could change this to whatever we want our answers to be. So in this case, we'll put small. Once we finish the first answer, we'll click return put the next answer and hit return and we can put as many answers as we need in here and we can choose a default answer if we want as well in this case maybe we won't choose one and we can also choose if we want the question to be required that would mean they would have to answer this question in order to submit the survey so since I would want every person to tell me their t-shirt size I'd make it required and I would click done so here is my t-shirt size. So then when you want to add more questions, you just click the plus add new question. So then I might decide that I want to collect their names. So I might put name and I might add here, please put your last name first, a comma, and then your first name example Smith Michael and I'll make it a text question I'll make it required because I want to make sure I get that information and click done and now here's our second item name our information about how they should submit it and then they can just type in their response and let's say that we did want to have an open-ended question what places would you like to go on our field trip and why and I'll make this a paragraph text and maybe this won't be required and click done so now you can see our survey We've got a couple quick questions here longer open-ended question here and anytime I need to make any changes I can just click on that test question or click on the gear next to it and also I can move these around so you'll see there's a crosshair icon on top of this I can left click, hold down, and then drag it to wherever I want it. So maybe I want to click name first, then have them give me the t-shirt size, then have them give me the field trip question, and I'm done. So when I'm finished, I click save and view. 
And now this is what the survey would look like. So a neat little survey. And we can go ahead and as a test, put our information in. So we enter in our name. We could enter in our t-shirt size. Put in, I'm excited about all of the places. And submit the survey. And this is, we'll say thanks, your response was received to the person who submitted the survey. Now this is what our spreadsheet looks like and you'll notice here are our questions. Here are the responses and it would continue to just collect responses all the way down here. And you could do whatever you wanted with the responses afterwards uh, depending on what you are used to doing in Excel. So depending on what the responses are, you might make charts and graphs and all sorts of other things. But if nothing else, you've just got information here that you can see. To share the survey, this button up here, select it and choose share survey. This creates an address for you and if you want to test it, you can copy that and in a new tab, paste in that address. And so this is exactly what a person would see whenever they take your survey. So we'll put in one more just to show you what it looks like. Small, nothing, submit. And they'll say, thank you, your response was received. Now they don't have access to any of the spreadsheet data or anything, they just take the survey and then they're done. You, however, will see more answers down here and it will continue to collect responses as long as you like. Underneath the survey tab where it says share, Note that you can choose to stop sharing the survey. So if you wanted it open for a week, you could make it available. And then at the end of the day on Friday, you could choose to stop sharing the survey and then no one would be able to access the survey again. So a tool like this is very nice if you wanna create a quick formative assessment, make it available for 15 minutes during a class period, then stop sharing it, then start sharing it again, maybe a couple classes later when that same, a different group of kids will want to take your quick little formative assessment. One last thing, just like any document, when you first open a document, you'll be in the reading view. So you'll be able to see your data, but you won't be able to manipulate the data or edit. So just make sure that you click edit workbook and then edit in Excel web app and that'll get you back to your edit mode. And then finally, the last thing is you need to pay attention to sharing. So just like documents, you can share a spreadsheet. So in this case, we could click share just like a document, but this would give access to the actual spreadsheet results. So make sure you don't confuse that with sharing your survey. For the people that you want to give you information, this is what you're using, share the survey. You would only share the spreadsheet if you had a few colleagues that were all working on something together and they all needed the results of that spreadsheet. So just make sure you pay attention to survey sharing and then spreadsheet sharing up here.